Okay, hi again everyone. We'll start now. So welcome to the session working together in a safe workplace. So this is a very hot topic right now as we are slowly going back to our offices. But just before starting the session as such, a few words on Gregory Botanes, our speaker today. So Gregory, you are the Vice President and Chief Growth Officer at uh, CITUM Indoor Positioning. Um, so a few words on your experience. Uh, over the years, as it seems, you've evolved in quite different environments and occupied a variety of roles. You've been an entrepreneur, a manager, with also a large international experience in sales, marketing, business development, project direction, and also alliance management. Uh, and that happened in big corporations, but also in startups. So you've got both uh, you got you got to know both these these environments. Uh, it seems that you definitely have a predilection for hardware and uh, software businesses. By way of illustration, you've previously been working in companies such as Vodafone, Microsoft, and also HP. Uh, so you've been working in Citim since 2015, five years ago you started. And in short, this company, your company, offers an indoor GPS solution that is now used in more than 70 countries and more than 6,000 buildings. So today you are gonna speak about how in this very particular context, we can go back to our office in the safest uh, possible way using indoor positioning. Um, so before giving you the floor, if you have any questions just uh, ask them directly in the chat, directing them to organizers only. So you've got that option in the chat bar and we'll be taking care of answering all of them at the end uh, of the session. Um, the presentation will last approximately 15, 20 minutes. So that will definitely leave us some time for a Q and A. Anyway, Gregory, thank you for being with us today. And uh, well, the stage is yours. Thank you for being with us. Thank you very much, Paul, and hi, everybody. Welcome to this uh, webinar. Um, thanks to Funding Box for letting us this opportunity to introduce you Citun Indoor Positioning and specifically our new solution, Citun COVID-19 for corporate offices. It's a pleasure for me to join you and I hope we can bring you some light on how to ensure a safe workplace for your employees now that our daily routine is starting again. As you know, after the lockout, uh, crowded corporate offices or headquarters where employees remain in contact for many hours can become dangerous places, especially if the same air flow is shared. This is the conclusion reached by health authorities of several countries, South Korea and among others, where they verified, for example, that in a company with more than 1,000 employees, only 97%, only 97 were diagnosed with COVID-19 and of them, 94 had been sharing the same floor and location. So with the ongoing escalation process and the reopening of the offices, it will be necessary to take measures to try to prevent contagion in the workplaces. In order to provide companies with the necessary tools to be able to control interpersonal distances, capacity control, and the traceability of possible infections, we have launched on the basis of our renowned Citum Indoor Positioning Technology, our new solution Citum COVID-19 for corporate offices, a new solution that will allow these companies to warranty safe return of employees to their jobs in large buildings, in any corporate headquarters or in any other large venue. But before embedding this solution, let me introduce you briefly what is Citum. Citum is the Latin name that stands for location, and that's exactly what we do. We are a worldwide leading provider of a unique indoor positioning technology for smartphones that delivers the highest precision with the minimal or even zero infrastructure, providing companies with cost-effective solutions for indoor wayfinding and tracking of people and assets. Did you know that we spend more than 90% of our time indoors where GPS location simply does not work? So if you need to guide or to track people or create your own solutions featuring indoor location and you want to avoid expensive hardware investments or complex deployments or maintenance costs, Citun is your solution. But my goal today is give you a bit more detail on how you will able to use Citun COVID-19 solution to ensure your employees 
don't really have a safe return for their workplaces now the restrictions are gradually being lifted so this solution as uh, we will show you in the next slides uh, at the same time allows you first to give notifications of social distance reminders in shared rooms or in areas with the maximum capacity that can be defined by the workplace manager it also allows you to launch alerts to the user in case that the maximum capacity is reached or in case that he's entering in a restricted area or a maximum time has been spent in this area so we can define the offenses for that and on top of that we have created some kind of alerts like a man down alerts or mobile panic button the first one can be launched automatically when somebody falls down in case they have any danger or any problem and in the, the mobile panic button is something virtual that the user can trigger by just knocking three times on the smartphone. That's an example of the kind of alerts we launch. But on top of that, we can create customizable reports uh, so that the companies can really extract a really useful information, not only for tracking, but also to really know what's been the room, um, the area usage per hour, what has been the time spent in each room or in each area, and to calculate the past trajectories per worker. But let me go inside to each of these uh, features. First, with this solution, you will be able to receive reminders of the new social distance rules. We come back to our offices, people tend to relax and forget those rules. So this mobile app will remind the user that he must ensure their minimum distance is respected with their co-workers. Two situations where we will send this reminder are, for example, when you enter a crowded area or when you move through the workplace to go for a coffee as an example. Second, uh, many workplaces are establishing new rules, room capacity rules. We will allow you to define an area of your office and set up a maximum capacity to remind the employees working there that they must not exceed it. This area can be a physical room, but it can also be a virtual room. There is no limitation there. Third, if there is a COVID positive co-worker, we need to stop the spread of the outbreak unless we want to get our office locked down again. How can we contain the virus propagation? Well, we will let you to find and notify everyone who were in contact sharing spaces with that person and visualize the path that this person took during the previous days so that companies can react faster and stop the spread of, of, of the virus. Um, okay, so this is basically the two, the three main features um, that we created on top of our indoor positioning technology. But what this is what the workforce uh, manager or the human resources department will see or will, or will use for that. But what will you see the user? Okay, we have two choices. Uh, we can choose to show either a blank application where only the user can log in and get notifications or alerts, or to get um, a, a mobile application that can be customizable that looks like a Google Maps application when you use it outdoors. In this case, the user can find the meeting rooms, any other points of interest like in, in any uh, to in the toilets or the uh, cafeteria or any other co-worker in a nice map, in a friendly map, and with the turn by turn instructions inside the office. But it also can provide alert in case that evacuation is required if there is an emergency. So everything that was already in our previous Citroen indoor positioning platform is already available and also available uh, here for all the users. But it's an option if the company decides that they only want to install a corporate um, uh, application that makes nothing but just triggering alerts, it's also possible. Okay, but you will be asking, but how does it work? Well, this works based on indoor positioning uh, created by C2 10 years ago, that unlike other indoor position technologies, does not require um, additional use or additional infrastructure, because it was designed under two principles. One, first, was to use as much as possible all the existing infrastructure, so that we read the existing signals that already are in the building, like the magnetic field, like the Wi-Fi signals, which are already present in most buildings, and in some occasions as well, the Bluetooth signals. And we combine this information, of this electromagnetic information that already exists without installing anything additional, with the movement information that comes from the inertial sensors of the smartphone, like the gyroscope, the magnetic field, and the compass. 
And by combining this, we created an algorithm that has more than 10 years that allows to give the position of any user inside any location through the smartphone with a precision of between one and four meters as an average. And as I say, with minimum or even zero infrastructure. Uh, this technology could open the door to a whole new bunch of uh, applications, basically for tracking employees, for providing wayfinding to any user in malls, airports, um, uh, hospitals, etc., but also for uh, using this information for launching or triggering alerts based on the location. So on top of that is where we created Citum COVID-19 with these three specific functions like social distance, contact tracing, and capacity control. That's basically how it works. Um, yes, I'd like just to, to, to end. I'm talking to you a little bit about Citroen, where we are present today, even if it had been a very young company with only six years of life, although the, the technology has more than 10, we are present in largest uh, travel industries, like uh, largest airports, in cruises, in, in train stations. We are in largest hospitals in Europe, public and private. We are in top facility management and security companies. We are in, in top retailer centers in Asia, Latin America, and Europe in corporate buildings, in, 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 in large banks, in exhibition centers. We are in the logistics and industry in companies like PSA um, well, and many others. Just to give you an idea that this is not a, a new solution that comes from nothing or is a lab uh, application. It's an application that is working, that is already working in the real life, helping many companies worldwide. Uh, so from my side, um, yes, I would like to thank you for your attention and to open the tone for uh, all the questions you might have, okay? Um, and in case um, do you need more information or you require uh, a demo, or you require uh, to start talking about how to deploy c COVID-19 in your offices, please don't hesitate to let us know, send in us or drop in an email to this um, sales at situn.com solution or visiting our webpage at situn.com. So, Paul, um, uh, I don't know if you have any questions. Um, yep, I, we do. We actually have a first question from uh, Ahmed. So here's the question. Uh, how are you comply, complying with privacy issues? Uh, for instance, visiting the toilet. So that's actually a good one. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's a very good question. So a very common one. Well, uh, the good thing is that we don't keep any personal information and that we don't keep anything from the user which is outside the office or in uh, in the time where he's not working. So we are just uh, locating the user inside the building and during the, the work day. So uh, there is no any, any problem at all. Uh, the only requirement is that uh, in order to comply with the GDPR, of course, the company must notify the employees that this process is taking place and an application or a corporate application is uh, installed in the smartphones of the of the users. Of course. Okay. So to answer Ahmed's uh, second question, what happened mm -hmm. when I leave the office? Does the app continue to track the worker? The worker? The answer would be no, I guess. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's it. Correct. Okay. Okay. Um, so uh, another another question we have here. <laughs> What, what would you need to install the, sol the solution uh, on your in your office, basically? Uh, yeah, sorry, a good question because I forget to mention that, yeah. The only thing we need is to install a corporate application, that, as, as I said before, can be a blank application or can be our navigation application by default with all the functionality of COVID-19. And with we need is just that any, all the employees of the company must have a corporate uh, smartphone. But this smartphone can be an Android smartphone versions any version uh, from 5 to 10 except version 9 okay that's the only version that is not um, is not possible in that case we uh, and in, while there, are, there is wi-fi connection in all the area in all the building there's no need of anything else in case there are areas where mm, wi-fi connection is not uh, accessible not accessible um, you, we cannot read in case we cannot read the with the wi-fi signal in that case we do need to install uh, some few beacons. How many? Very few. Yes, one beacon every 250 uh, square meters, approximately. But as I say before, in case we are using a smart corporate smartphones Android and uh, there is Wi-Fi signal all around the, the place, no additional hardware is required. Okay, very clear. So just maybe to uh, understand a little bit better, what do you call exactly a beacon? Is it something that allows the Wi-Fi signal to go further? No, not exactly. 
um, we have different types of technology for uh, emitting um, uh, and, and connecting uh, devices. So Wi-Fi is, is, a, is a type of, of final type of technology and Bluetooth, uh, in the beacon is a Bluetooth emitter. Basically, it's a device that is emitting continuously a signal in the Bluetooth uh, spectrum. So um, we use this, uh, this uh, devices, these small devices that are very, we do, we don't, you don't need to install it in terms of, you don't need to, to, to wire or to, or to connect to any power because um, they just have a battery. And this is a small, uh, they like, like a small um, cricket uh, ball. So they're, they're very, very small. Okay, um, the, you, can, you can really stick them on, on the roofs or on the columns. And it's something that you don't need to even screw or to or to connect to to the to the power supply. So they can they can be set and 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 and, and they can be working for three four years without changing the battery. Okay. So, but this is something that only would be required, as I said before, in case either if the users are using uh, iPhones instead of Android phones, or in or if there is no Wi-Fi connection in order to compensate the lack of Wi-Fi information that we need then together with the magnetic field to provide the location. Okay, I see. Uh, another question from Mike. Is it possible to integrate uh, your solution in an employee or office uh, app? Definitely, yes. In fact, we provide both. Uh, an application that is already done, but also at the same time, in our license, is included an SDK that is available for iOS, for um, Android, and also uh, we have some uh, plugins for Cordova and, and, and other tools. And with these tools, with this uh, software development kit, with this SDK, any integrator or any company can integrate our indoor location features into the existing applications of the users. So uh, it's totally possible, yes. Okay, 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 understood. Um, well, it looks like we are done with uh, questions. Yep, Let me see. yep. I'm having a look. Okay. Right. So, as it looks like you guys don't have any more questions, so... Thank you, thank you, Gregory, and thank you for everyone for joining us. So for you to know, a recording of the session will be made available in order for you to review it in case uh, you might have missed something or arrived late. And we shall be notifying you in the next few days, probably beginning of, uh, of next week. So again, thank you, Gregory, and thank you, the other ones, to join us, and see you soon. Thank you, Paul, and many thanks to all the assistants, and, and we see you at Citroen.com. Bye. Bye.